Hi guys! So I'm here to do my 39 weeks pregnancy update and yes, I am still heavily pregnant. I cannot imagine despite having a preterm labor last 33 weeks of my pregnancy, I cannot imagine I can still be able to reach this far. And I thought na until 37 weeks lang talaga ako. My friends, my cousins, my, my family are texting me. Telling me, when can I ba mga anak? Why are you still pregnant? Your, your stomach is so big. I know, I know. <laughs> when you reach 39 weeks, yung stomach mo guys, as in, pagtitingin na na ng mga tao. Sa mall or everywhere I go. Kasi malaki na siya. And this is my second pregnancy. So, nag-stretch na yung aking stomach and it's much, it looks bigger right now. So, I cannot imagine those women na, uh, mag for 41 weeks or 40 weeks sobrang laki na siguro ng chan, di ba? Ay, it's already, it's like one week na lang before my due date yung pinaka deadline is February 13 so I only have 7 days more to go before February 10 and then another 3, another 3 more days so 10 days all in all, punta na tayo sa aking mga, you know, symptoms and what's been happening sa aking pregnancy so, I stopped taking the nifidipine, yun yung medication that I was taking to relax my uterus to prevent um, having contractions to prevent my uterus having contractions so I stopped taking that when I was 36 weeks so I really thought one week after na next stop ako mag take mga anak na ko, but still wala guys nag walking na ako ginagawa ko na yung mga normal chores ko but still walang progress and last 37 weeks and 3 days or 5 days 37 weeks and 5 days, my ob ni stripped my membranes. Parang, isi-sweep niya yung membranes mo. Parang to separate the sac. Three weeks, I don't know. Basta something like that. Isi-sweep yung membranes mo. So, your uh, body or your cervix or mag-release siya ng prostaglandins to start labor. But that time, I was still 1cm and slightly effaced. So, nothing happened. Hindi siya masyadong masakit. Para lang in IE. So, one week after that, so I was already 38 weeks and 3 days, or 38 weeks and 5 days. My OB swept me again kasi gusto, nga, gusto ko nga mga anak ng January. Yung OB ko kasi okay lang sa kanya na mag-sweep ng membranes kahit hindi pa due date. So, at 38 weeks and 5 days, sinweep niya ako ulit. But still, nothing happened. I was dilated to 2cm. It was the most painful uh, sweeping of membranes ever. Mas masakit siya compared sa yung first sweep ko. Guys, kasi sabi ni Ubi, sabi ng Ubi ko, mas masakit na siya kasi ma medyo na-stretch na yung cervix. So, the more stretch na siya, the more na siya masakit. As in, grabe, sakit, sakit, kaayo. Grabe, good kaayo, kasakit. So, after she sweeped my membranes, dilated to 2cm. After the procedure, I was experiencing spotting, cramping, what else? Nilagay ko sa cellphone ko kasi makakalimutan ko. I also have moderate irregular contractions. Kasi masakit na siya guys. Ay, hindi naman siya sobrang, sobrang, hindi naman siya sobrang intense na pain. But it's painful. And I, I have a high pain tolerance. So, yun. So, naging regular. Ay, hindi siya regular. Never siya naging regular. And it's always been irregular. Like, in a day, I can experience irregular contractions. Mga 10 siguro in a day. But hindi talaga siya nag-regular. Hindi siya as in sobrang sakit. So, alam ko naman yung feeling ng labor talaga. Kasi nga, this is my second pregnancy. So, for 2 weeks, guys, I've been experiencing irregular, painful contractions. But never naging labor na as in active labor talaga. As you can see now, I'm already uh, swelling. As in, iba na, iba na talaga yung face ko. Parang alam mo na malapit na talaga ako mga na. My nose is swelling. My hands and feet are moderate swelling lang or mild swelling. Hindi siya yung sobrang-sobrang swelling. I've been gaining weight na. Like for a week, I gained 2 kilos. So, um, right now, I'm already 66 kilos. Kasi naman guys, sobrang gutom na gutom ako kanunay, kaya gusto ko talagang kumain. But ayun, what else? At ang init na guys, if you notice, if if you can see na I'm sweating, sorry na po, kasi <laughs> alam niyo naman ang buntis, so walang electric fan, di ako nag-on electric fan and aircon. Ayun, so yung ilong ko parang talagang kamatis, and then people, 
will really tell me na hindi ka pa pala ng anak. Ganun, ganun. Um, due date ko is one week from now pa. So, I still have time. Oh, I forgot. Yung pag 38 weeks and 5 days ako, that was still January. Basta last week of January. Sabi, ni, sabi ng OB ko, 2 days after that, I can go back to the clinic and then he sweep me ako ulit if gusto ko talaga mga anak na January so that was January 31 that was super moon din guys and then super blood moon super blue blood moon basta yun eclipse ay ang init sabi ko parang na trauma ako sa pag strip na membranes niya the second time around so sabi ko uh, ayoko na dog parang gusto ko na lang ay, ay, ayoko nang parang pugson yung self or Ano ba sa Tagalog or English ang pugson? I don't wanna force my body to give birth. I don't wanna force my body or my baby. If ayaw niya talaga lumabas, I don't wanna force it. I mean, masakit na yung ba JJ ko sa pagdala, pag, pag strip the second time around. So, ayaw ko na. I mean, I'll just let my body, you know, mag labor spontaneously. I'm just really praying na hindi ako ma CS or ma induce. But if that happens, I'm also very open. I mean, I'm not closing my mind. I'm not being close-minded when it comes to those things since I'm in the medical field. Hindi natin hawak yung yung mangyayari sa labor or so ating katawan. We'll never know what's gonna happen. For me, if you're not ready for whatever things or whatever outcome ng labor mo or ng pregnancy mo, you will feel really depressed. And so, even though I'm very positive that I will be having a natural vaginal birth, no pain, pain medications, walang epidural, but I'm also open to other circumstances. I'm hoping na nalabas na si baby. I feel that I've been pregnant my entire life. Alam niyo yun? But I'm hyper ngayon, guys. I don't know. I'm very hyper today. Although, nag-walking kami kahapon. Masakit yung pa ako, yung legs ko. But I'm still hyper. This will be the last pregnancy update. I'm pretty sure that this is the last pregnancy update. Right now, I'm a miserable, heavily pregnant woman. <laughs> na I really wanna give birth already. And my baby naman is still very hyperactive. I always uh, monitor the movements for as long as the baby's movement, movements are okay. The baby is fine. My fluids are still adequate. I drink a uh, lot, tons of water para I can have an adequate amount of fluid. So I've been losing lots of mucus plug. Um, yung spotting, as in sobrang dami na guys. As in that meaning niya nag thin out na yung cervix ko but wala pa rin naman akong contractions or regular contractions na nagaganap ngayon. My, my discomforts lang talaga ngayon is hindi ako nakakatulog ng maayos at night kasi nga sobrang laki na lang ko and then pag turn ako ng sides nahihirapan na ako and then my, I have left hip pain already. Parang hindi naman siya sciatica pero masakit dito na part kasi usually nasa left side ako and then siguro nasa stretch dito so masakit siya. And I have pelvic pressure or yung menstrual cramps or dysmenorrhea nga feeling na or then para kang mapupupo ganun. Yun lang yun talaga yung mga nafe-feel ko ngayon. <laughs> Ay nako. Anyway thank you so much guys for watching and thank you for following my pregnancy journey. I will really miss I know, not really miss being pregnant, although I don't really 100% like being pregnant, but I treasure every moment that I was pregnant. I'm really happy that I was I was able to share it with you guys and I was able to, you know, make videos. At least if gusto kong mag look back na aking pregnancy journey, I can watch my videos. But this will be my last pregnancy, <laughs> as in I swear. I can't really 100%, you know, hindi natin hawak ang, ang panahon, but as much as possible, I want this to be my last pregnancy because it's been a very hard, high-risk pregnancy. If you've been watching my pregnancy updates, you would know that I have a high-risk pregnancy. So, but I treasure every moment of it and I'm so grateful that I was able to reach this far. My baby is healthy. Thank you so much guys for watching. And this will be my last pregnancy journey. And also follow me on Instagram, my Facebook page. Hayun, that's it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, yun lang guys. Uh, ang pingmutanan and I will see you soon on the next vlog. Bye!